have enough uh, problems with some of their infrastructure day to day as it is. Important news could be made there. And nowhere but uh, nowhere uh, measures up quite like Nigeria in measuring the African century that some would like to see develop now. Prospects for economic progress, political stability. Nigeria has been through a wrenching time since the uh, years of colonial rule back to a uh, form of, uh, of a civilian rule now amid many hopes that better days lie. That have taken three months to install. Mountain climbers have been working on the Eiffel Tower for three months now and the fireworks will slowly climb up the side of the Eiffel Tower being launched from 8,000 different positions along the sides of the Eiffel Tower. Sort of think of this as a shuttle launch with warm-up and then blast-off. And in Rome, they're waiting too with anticipation, counting down. Counting down at Rome as well for the Pope's Urbi et Orbi message, the message of the Pope to the city and to the world as well. As well, there you see a square at St. Peter's. You see some of the fireworks in the background. Rome, a city which has uh, undergone a major renovation. Getting also ready for in Berlin, midnight is uh, nigh. That uh, from the Brandon. Nobody's done it like that today. And there, and there is Vatican City. Cokie Roberts. Well, Peter's standing now at his window with the fireworks going off all around him. Is the tiny figure of the Pope and the crowd here in, Vat in the St. Peter's Square. Uh, as you can hear, very excited to see him there and also excited that there are fireworks going off all around. But you know, I've been struck, there is the Pope. I've been struck, Peter, in all this today, especially coming from Bethlehem, that this idea of 2,000 years ago, the birth of Jesus being celebrated still and being celebrated in all these places you've gone to. Uh, the Catholic Church alone now, is a billion people, has uh, most of them living in Asia, South America, and Africa, two-thirds of them. So it is, uh, it is an idea that is spread around the globe for 2,000 years. These are probably the most spectacular fireworks that we have seen because they have all been choreographed different colors and at the end it's going to be pure white now you can see Taking quite go that way. Taking a breather at a critical moment. I think, I think we get the message from I, the rest of it. I think people have plenty to look at there at the Eiffel Tower. We would be able to tell that, it, that it, midnight has come to Paris. 
Paris, as in many other cities, Joey, around the world, uh, very stringent security precautions. The police force granting no days off for this period, actually right on through the 2nd of January, uh, all on duty and, and being very vigilant. But so far, and we say this uh, cautiously and advisedly, so far as the new year has been rung in around the world, it appears to have been a remarkably peaceful and calm new year, not, but not only on the Y2K front, watching the computers, but also on the, on the subject of public safety. Looking down to the left-hand corner of your screen, you're seeing again uh, St. Peter's Basilica, the square at St. Peter's, the huge crowds that have amassed there to see the Pope give his Irby and Orby message, his message to the city, to Vatican City, and to the world, the world's Catholics, as he plans out, uh, speaks about his plans, his thoughts about the new millennium and where the faithful shall travel from here. This is a relatively shorter message that the Pope will give. He will give another one at dawn at uh, the Vatican, at Vatican City, as well laying out further his thoughts and his prayers and his hopes for the new millennium as well. And this Polish-born pontiff who himself has seen so much change and so much upheaval in his lifetime from World War II and the, uh, and the tumult and turmoil that uh, racked his native land of Poland right on through the, the communist period and solidarity which he uh, encouraged from the sidelines which the, cha the Catholic Church was so instrumental in supporting finally uh, Poland throwing off the yoke of communism along with the rest of Eastern Europe Pope uh, declaring this a year of peace the skies there in Spain now to Berlin, we want to move on to the Brandenburg Gate, as Frank has been talking to you about uh, for the past few moments. The celebration underway there, of course, commemorating important time, uh, important transitions in politics for Germany over these past few years. Important uh, new century, new opportunity for Germany to rise. It is an exciting time in, in history for a reunited Germany, obviously, now. It's been about 10 years, but I must say it's been very difficult there. The merging the east and western portions of Germany have proved far more difficult, far more costly than uh, previously anticipated. Now back in Madrid. Back in Madrid for the celebration there. You see the great excitement that uh, Madrid is experiencing at this hour. Quite a colorful festivity. And, imagine for right, us. and noting, noting too, as we have throughout the evening, Joey, the, the cultural and historical contributions of these many... Good, happy New Year's wishes, saying Christ yesterday, today, and forever. To him belong time and the ages. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. And as you can see, this crowd has waited for him happily, standing and continued to greet them as they wave these torches uh, torches that were lit from the Holy Land and now singing hymns. So it's not the exuberance of Paris, but it is a commemoration of what this 2,000 years is all about. Certainly on the Christian calendar, without question. We've seen him sapped of his energy down through the years, but here in front of St. Peter's Square and St. Peter's Basilica, the premier church of Roman Catholic Christendom, named for his disciple Peter, who was also the first pope. We see, as Koki says, the great commemoration of why much of the world is celebrating this millennium this evening.